first to skate and welcome back to my channel and as you can see i'm in a vlogger again this vlog is a life so we have a six systems in here in the subject science talk about science and uh, let's start with the skeletal system digestive system nervous system respiratory system circulatory system and integratory system so we're going to start and the respiratory system so let's find the respiratory system so here it the main organ of the respiratory system is the lungs okay this is um talk about a air no air yeah okay i i want to teach you this about the respiratory system respiratory system for those who don't know and for those who want to learn about this subject so what are you waiting for comment down below what should i um vlogging the next video and subjects like that do you still want a mm, russian english there you go so is there a respiratory system the two parts in the nasal cavity is nostrils and cilia so as you can see this is the nasal cavity this one too this one too so i think this one is the nostrils like the hair of this in here nose and the cilia is in here here it's like a bone already and the pharynx is the throat like you said <coughs> like that okay and the tray the trachea is a wind pipe the wind pipe of the respiratory system it's a clue wind pipe wind pipe that's trachea and also the larynx is epiglottis or sound voice this larynx this is the sound voice like right here yes i think the bronchi is two tubes carry air into lungs oh so there's a bronchi it says two tubes like here and here like two tubes and there's and they going to the lungs the air will go to the lungs the breath in that air is upon the lungs if you smoke your lungs will mm, um, will be gray and um just like you so the signal of oxygen shortage in the body signal of the oxygen shortage in the body so like you you you, you blank you like that uh, like that in a wake up uh, Okay, that's called yawn. Yawn is a signal of oxygen shortage in the body. So, so next is alveoli. Alveoli, grape-like structures at the end at the bronchioles. Oh, the eggs, eggs especially the bronchioles are the small shoe and the end of the bronchioles at the end of the bronchioles like mm, if there are two there are cold bronchi if the if if it's only one that is cold bronchioles so the bronchioles the smaller tube of the grape like structures at the end of the bronchioles so as i think this is here in the uh, bronchi the two bronchioles and after that there is a put in an alveoli alveoli and next hmm, hmm. 
relax. So that's for the respiratory system. I'm I'm not going to discuss it anymore. So let's go to circulatory system. <coughs> if you have mm, hear that word that circulatory system that that pumping organ of the circulatory system is is a heart only heart okay so if we should if we talk about circulatory system uh, let's talk about of this is the heart and also the bloods the kinds of bloods so the blood is the river of life you know what if you like got like um what called this in our language is samad um you have the blood were going out now so and if the blood were going to go out like this one this one this is your um this is our language samad this is your samad the blood were going through through here and it's so easy if i see the blood i'm going to run away run away because i don't like blood just like ears so when i grow up i don't want to be a doctor but i want to be a teacher to teach some kids how to read and write so go back to our lesson so the three distinct parts of the circulatory system is the pulmonary circulation coronary circulation and systemic circulation the pulmonary circulation <clears throat> is the lungs they we talk about pulmonary circulation the lungs and the coronary circulation is the heart while the systemic circulation is the rest system of the body <coughs> so the three major organs of the circulatory system is the blood blood vessel and the heart heart is a pumping organ of the circulatory circulatory system so, so the next um, how many times did the heart pump every day comment down below how times okay the four chambers of the heart is right atrium right ventricle left atrium and left ventricle like this heart like this one Gene, that one that is the heart if you draw half of it this one this is the heart the one and this is the heart the one and if you half on on it half half on it and then half half so this one is the left atrium right atrium left left atrium a left ventricle and right ventricle <clears throat> so what is the largest artery the largest artery is aorta only aorta is the largest artery in the heart <clears throat> so what call the device used to measure blood pressure a device that used <coughs> yes, me. device used to measure blood pressure like like your high blood and you just check up what called us in here and like in the, the pharmacy the pharmacy you want to check up and you just see it um like uh for a doctor doctor's things that's called speed manometer. 
It's pigmomanometer. Pigmomanometer. Okay? It's pigmomanometer. <clears throat> so, the location of our pulse rate is in the neck here. The wrist here is the wrist. This one is the wrist. And the upper arm. This one is the upper arm. This one. So, try it in your home. Um, like this one, okay? Like two, not one, two, okay? Put it in there. You can feel the beat of the or of our pulse rate. So next is a solid part compose. Okay. The type of the blood cells. Three types of the blood cells are red blood cells, red white blood cells, and platelet blood cells. <clears throat> the other term for red blood cells in is erythrocyte. <clears throat> well, the white blood cells are uh, white blood cells is leukocytes, and the platelets is thrombocytes. <clears throat> the meaning of the red blood cells or erythrocyte is transport oxygen and carbon dioxide. So, it's going to just transport for it like the oxygen is taken in and the carbon inside is taken out the plasmas need the carbon dioxide uh, where should we get the oxygen where should we get the oxygen we should get the oxygen in the plants while the plants need the carbon dioxide so they need carbon dioxide and please if you if you have a carbon dioxide, make sure you go to the plant and uh, poop in there. <laughs> uh, sad. So the gives the red color to our blood is hemoglobin. Like spelling H E M O G L O B I N. Hemoglobin gives the red color to our blood so that's why um our blood is a red color <clears throat> oh so god made us this is too hard the organs that destroy red blood cells or erythrocytes is liver and spleen liver is uh liver is in here i think yeah liver is in here and spleen is i don't know where is it my thing is set up beside us and the red blood cells or other side the shape of it is small it's very cold and nucle a nucleated cell Oh, okay. So, the leukocytes or white blood cells for immune system, irregular shape, hackluted. <coughs> Sorry. That's why it passes. What passes is attach foreign organisms like bacteria, viruses, parasites, and fungi. Oh, that's for the... Uh, Attach foreign organisms like bacteria. Oh, that's true. And the other term is release antibodies to attach foreign organisms. Oh, she releases the antibodies to attach the foreign organisms. <clears throat> Thrombocytes. Smallest. The shape of this is small. Stops bleeding, foot formation. Oh, the other term for the thrombocytes is platelets. Okay. So hope you like um, and.
enjoy this video make sure you like subscribe and share see you later guys bye and the next six the uh, next system we're going to discuss is nervous system so just subscribe to my channel and ring the bell the information of my videos bye